Neil, gather your breath and talk us through that 90 minutes. It was absolutely enthralling. Yeah, it was too enthralling at times um, for me, but it's, it's definitely going to take that one's going to take a, probably a, a rewatch to really uh, digest some of it because um, my expectations coming here uh, were really positive. The players have been outstanding in training, uh, following on from a really good performance against here. And, and we've seen, we seen that certainly in the second half, even at times in the first half, but there was, uh, there was obviously things in there that we, that we don't want to see. We, we've been very solid and we, we gave up a lot, but the way that the team came back in the second half uh, says a lot and, and really I thought we'd be standing here talking about three points um, after that second half performance. Did you feel that second half performance kind of showed ultimately that we maybe left a wee bit on the table there there was maybe a wee bit more for the Gavin today yeah I thought I thought the last 10 minutes of the first half we were at our poorest and I was desperate desperate to get in at half time um, to make changes to because I felt we could go on and win the game because um, I don't think we'd we'd shown ourselves as, as well as we could and thankfully we did and we did get in at half time and the players I knew that they wouldn't be um, as poor as at times they were in the first half and as I say we probably left a wee bit out there when we look back um, their goalie made some fantastic saves, but it was more so the opportunities for balls across the box that I thought we could have maybe done better than, than necessarily the shots at goal. So, um, look, I put a point at for Hill. No matter how you're doing, it's, it's normally good, but uh, we felt that we could maybe just add that extra too. Key change at half time was going from three at the back to four. Um, your own intervention at half time and again, then round about the hour mark, it seemed to be key. What was the thinking there? You know, it's funny, I think as a manager, sometimes you stand on the side and, and you rack your brains at like, changes, whether it be shape or personnel. And honestly, Dave, there's, like, there's times where it doesn't matter what you, what you do until the players start like, playing better. But I felt we, had, we needed Finley's pace. The pitch was big, they were trying to be aggressive against the ball. So it was most important that we got Finley on the, on the pitch and I think that meant that we should change shape. Um, and then I think, again, I've got to give credit to the players because they then went out, took the game by the scruff of the neck and pretty much from the first few minutes pushed Partick back um, on the back foot and they created opportunities. Finley was excellent. And that's another thing I'd say the substitutes came on and, and did did really well. You know, like Gib Gibbo, Ross Matthews, Cody, they all came on and, and really impacted the game in a positive nature and that's what we expect from our substitutes. We saw the team line and uh, we see that Sam Stanton was missing today so my immediate thought is actually to look at the bench and say, well, that's an opportunity. Are you happy that the boys that were brought on took that opportunity? Yeah, exactly right. Look, there's, there's things there that you just can't control and Sam picking up a little niggle in his hamstring uh, was frustrating because he'd been very good but it's an opportunity for, for other players and we've got a strong bench and um, we could have easily had like Kai Montague on the pitch because he's been excellent and Josh Mullen equally has been, been training hard so we've been quite fortunate with that um, but I think as I say the boys that did come on really showed that they were ready and that's as I say that's part of a squad game you need your subs are just as important as the guys that start although they don't always feel like that much to the joy of that um, busy travelling support, it was a moment of incredible quality from Dylan. He was he appeared to be on it all afternoon. He, just down here, touchline in the interview, I can now get a sense of what your line of sight would have been like on that free kick. It must have been great. As soon as I left his foot, I thought it was in. I have to say, I was I was really at that point thinking just about how, like, what do we need to do, what do I need to do to try and help us get back in. And then Dylan goes and does that, and that's why it's so important to us. Um, great moment for the travelling fans and I think um, again as good as the, the team were in the second half the fans were equally as good and I was really just hoping that we were going to get that winner uh, it would have been great it would have been great scenes but um, maybe the next time we're here we'll have that moment What are the other positives that you take from today because um, you know we continue picking up points Yeah I think you know it's another point to our total um, it's never going to be it's never going to be all our own way all, all the time. You know, I think uh, while we've maybe not had all the results that we would have wanted um, over the past five or six games, but we've been able to have large bits of control in, in pretty much all of those games. Um, today we didn't, so that's something that we need to learn from and look at and why. And as a team, we need to go through that. But biggest thing was the resilience, the character, the fitness. You know, I thought we, we came on very strong, looked like we had the energy to go on and win it, which was big as a big, big pitch. So uh, they're the positives, but I did, as I said at the start, that's one for us to go away and review and reflect and hopefully some of the lessons we learned today will stand us in good stead for future um, games home and away. 
we'll obviously pick up um, through the week as we, we head towards the, the Morton game. I'm just wondering if there's any kind of final words that, that we've not covered that you would want to issue for Raith Rover supporters. No, again, just like I said, um, the fans were uh, equally as good today as they were at Livingston. Obviously, two different different results, but I think the team played with the same energy, appetite. That's one thing that we, we want them to give our fans and them. Um, Back to Starks Park next week, big game against Morton, and I'm sure they'll be they'll be out in force because they can see again the team's heading the right direction. Uh, we wanted to give them three points today, but that's what we'll spend all week doing now is to is try and get three points uh, next week at Starks Park. We're already looking forward to watching our team right. next Saturday. Good man. See you then.